Let's have some fun today. I want to show you how to accent some of your garments. This is a, a jacket that I've used metallic thread and I've done a process called crocheted lace. This is so fast and easy to do because it's done on your serger. With metallic thread, I've serged the edge of this one. And on this, on this particular garment, I've used fillet thread on the collar of the garment just to give uh, a beautiful edge. When you thread your serger, you're going to use regular serger thread in your needle thread, or for your needle thread. You could even use your home sewing thread if you wanted to. But for your upper and lower looper, that's when your decorative thread looks the best. Now, I like the filleting thread like I showed you before, but any kind of thick decorative thread will work. Pearl crown rayon, your metallic uh, thread, candlelight metallic thread. You can even use two spools in the upper and two spools in the lower of your regular embroidery thread if you wanted to, but something that gives you a little bit more body. When you do this uh, crocheted lace, we're gonna do four rows. That's all you're gonna do. If you want your crocheted lace wider, you're gonna just add more rows. When you set up your machine, now uh, this is a baby lock machine, so when it's set up, the baby lock has numbers on the dials. This is four, three, two, one. That's your stitch length. This is your stitch width. So this is what I suggest. Put your serger on the widest stitch width that you have and the longest stitch length. That's gonna be your first row of stitching. Your second row is gonna be the next longest. Your third row is gonna be the next longest. And then your last row, which is what ruffles your edge, the last row is your shortest stitch length. So that's what's gonna pull it and ruffle it. The first row is your longest stitch length and your widest width. Now, I have two needles in the baby lock and I'm using the far left needle only. That makes my stitch width just a little bit wider. So I'm just gonna do a three thread overlock. I do have the knife up so that it's, it is cutting the edge and I've got a really pretty edge to this. And I'll show you how pretty this is when I get to the end. Can you see how pretty that edge is? That's just a really nice edge. This is your first row of stitching. All it is was your three thread overlock. I did have the knife up so it cut off the edge to give me a smooth edge, but now I wanna remove that knife. So all you have to do is to turn and lock the knife out of your way. What you're really gonna do is you're going to connect the next row right on the edge of this stitching. So here's a little hint. I have a see-through foot and I can see where I'm going. If you don't own a see-through foot, get yourself a Sharpie and make a little mark on there so you have something to guide this row next to. So when I put this under the machine, what I'm gonna do, let me put it under here and then I'll show you. I'm going to guide this stitching right here, right on that little mark right there. Now I'm gonna turn this down to three. Remember I told you on a baby lock, the stitch length is four, three, two, one. So this fir first row was on four, the second one is on three, and I'm gonna connect that just like this. Even those two rows are pretty. that off and again I'm going to line this up you see that little mark that I made with the marker the sharpie again I'm gonna line it up just like that now I'm gonna turn it down to two so it's gonna make it even tighter but I'm not looking up here I'm looking right there at that mark so that I can guide my machine right Remember I told you that you could make the crocheted lace wider? If you wanted to make it wider, this row is on number four, three, and this one is on two. So I would go four, three, two, 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 and you can make it as wide as you want to. But your last row is what ruffles it. And that's the part that makes it look like it's been cro hand crocheted. So let me show you, I'm gonna take this down to one, what this is gonna do. To the edge. Now again, you can see that I'm guiding this stitching 
right next to that little mark that I made on my foot. Isn't that gorgeous? That looked just like crocheted lace.